Hey, it's Darlene, and you just got your site published online, but you're ready to start selling products through it? Let's turn that site into an online store. So you've purchased or upgraded to online store already. Let me go ahead and show you where to hop in to start adding your product. Go ahead and click on Manage Store, or if you go to your dashboard, there's gonna be a navigation bar where you can click on Store and click on Overview. Great, the first thing that you're gonna see on this getting started is where you can start adding a product. There's only three required things that you need in order to list your product for sale, but let's go over everything. So you're gonna to need to name your product. In this case, we're gonna sell some t-shirts on here, so let's go ahead and name this one Classic Tea. You don't have to describe it so much in the product name, you don't need to put adjectives, and you're gonna do that in the description later, so keep it short, keep it concise and to the point. And then what price do you wanna list it for? There's actually an option too to list it for a sale price. So maybe you could originally put it's $20 for the t-shirt, but it's on sale for 15. All right, so let's keep the tax category standard for now. There's a few different options for that, as well as visibility if you wanna show it on the store or not. We can break that down a little bit later. It's gonna generate a SKU for you here based off your product name, but maybe you wanna have a numbering system if you want it product one out of 50 that you're listing to sell here, you can do it 0001, or just let it auto-generate. You're gonna have a few different options to add categories at this point too, if you wanna do a little bit more organization. And then you're gonna wanna add an image to your product. And that's gonna be important because if you're selling something online and not in person, somebody can't actually go out there and see it, so you wanna represent it well multiple images that are high quality at different angles. Maybe if it's a t-shirt or something that somebody's using or wearing, you can show an image of one of your customers wearing it. Maybe it's you wearing it, who knows? So next you're gonna have to write out a product description. And you're not just telling us about the product, you're really selling us the product here. So make sure that you keep it benefit focused for your customer and have a strong call to action so they have to put it in their cart. You could technically save here and start listing your product with just the description, but there's a few other tabs here, inventory and options, shipping and search engines that we're gonna go over, and then we can save and move on. So under inventory and options, this is where you can toggle if you wanna track your inventory, which means that you can set a quantity of how much you have of a product, and as those orders go out, your inventory is gonna go down until there's none left. If that quantity reaches zero and you want to allow for people to put a back order on it, you can select that option there too. So if your product comes in different types, variety of sizes and colors, you can create the option here. So you're going to click on create option and you're going to name what that option is. In this case, let's do color first and then add the choices down below. So one of the colors is green, type in green and then if you want to add more, you can click create option choice and keep going down until you have all your color options. If you wanna reorganize this too, you can drag the bar that's on the left side up and down. So red can be above green or green above red. Then when those are all there, click done. And then for t-shirts in this case, we're gonna add size as an option too. So click create option again, name it as size, and then put in the choices here. Same rule applies. Add more, create option choices, and go down and click done. If you have a unique option, you can go ahead and name your own and create your own here too. All right, so it's gonna make a different line for each of those individual products. You have a red colored shirt in a size small. You're gonna see that listed here and you can customize the different prices, the sale price, quantity again here. The SKU, it's gonna auto preset. You can add in another picture. If each of these options looks different um, or has a different picture for it, it'd be a good idea to upload it here for each of those different product types just so your customer knows what they're getting. And then there's an option for additional add-ons. Maybe you want to gift wrap it for somebody or it comes with a specific accessory, like the t-shirt comes in like a cool tote bag or something like that. You can create the add-on here for the option too. So when you're clicking on create add-on, you can title it whatever it is. But in this case for the t-shirt, we're not gonna offer any add-ons. So let's go on to the next section here, which is gonna be shipping. All right, so you're gonna see a few different options for the shipping. There's a tool here that's gonna calculate it for you based off of shipping methods. 
So whether it's weight or by dimension of the product, you're gonna see some options there where it'll calculate it for you. We'll go into those shipping options in a second. Maybe the item ships for free always and shipping is something that you include in the price of the product. You can go ahead and click that there. Or if you have a flat shipping rate that you want to use for any of the shipping methods for anything for this particular item, you can designate it there as well. And last tab on this page is search engines. You're going to want people to find you if they're searching for your site. And then in the same way, if they're searching for your product, you want that to come up as well. So for the search engine description of your product, you're going to want to be keyword focused. You want people to be able to find you based off of what they're searching for. So we have our product and we have all the different options underneath the product. We fill out the description, the inventory and options for it and how we want to ship it. Once you click save, that's going to add the product to your store. All right. So after you put a product in your store, you're going to want people to buy it and then you're going to want to get paid for it. So you have to set up your payment methods here. It's going to have PayPal express enabled. So you're going to link it to your PayPal account or your business account for that. But if you want to accept credit cards through your store, let's click on that option here. You're going to pick which payment processing is going to be best for your business. And if you want to see what features and options that they provide, click on the learn more. You're going to need to set up an account with them first. So when you go to their website, you'll see all the steps to create your account so that you can hop back here and connect it. Okay. And if you want to get back to the dashboard for your store, you can always click on store up at the top and click on overview. So next up, let's talk about shipping. Free shipping is going to be enabled. It's just a preset there. But if you want to designate your different shipping options, let's click on add more. Maybe you're servicing a local area and you're going to have some in-person pickups. There's an option to add that here too. But most of the time when you're ordering things online, people don't want to go anywhere and they want it shipped to them. So let's talk about those different shipping methods. It's going to say where you're shipping from here just based off of your profile and where you're set up. If you need to change that location, you can edit it there. So maybe you want to offer free shipping for all orders over X amount of dollars. You can do that by editing the free shipping option here. So you can title it different from free shipping if you want. You have a lot of characters that you can use to do that. And then put the total for when it reaches that amount, the shipping is going to be free. So let's say all orders over $35 are going to be free. If the minimum is not met, then charge each order a flat rate or leave that blank. You can select that option. And here's where we're going to edit that global part for now. Right now it says you're going to ship to all countries and all regions. But if you're just shipping to the United States, when you edit this field, you can search for United States. And then this also gives you all the states in the US. Maybe you're only shipping to a few states in your area or if you're shipping to all of them, you'll see that here. So that's for free shipping if it reaches that amount. If you don't want to offer free shipping at all, you can remove it. Let's go ahead and add in a paid shipping option. So click add in the top right corner. And here's where you're going to see a world of options. Let's go over them real quick and find which one fits your needs. So we already talked about free shipping. There's going to be a flat rate per order if you want to charge that. It's easier for a lot of people to say, you're ordering this much, your shipping is flat at $7 or $6, however much that costs. You can do that there. If it's weight based, like if you have products that are super heavy and you know the shipping is going to be really expensive, you can do it based off of weight. Or maybe you want to go with a specific carrier and you want to use their shipping method based off of your weights and the dimensions to calculate the cost. You're going to see options for USPS and UPS. So shipping is covered, but last and definitely not least, let's talk about tax on your products. Go ahead and click on store up in the top navigation bar and under settings, click on tax. All right. So I'm not a tax professional, but if you're going to be selling something online, you're going to need to have a little bit of know-how on the rules that go into taxing your orders. So consult your local tax professional, but this is where we're going to fill it out so that your products reflect the right taxes. So what that looks like here is you can click the add icon and it's going to pop up with some options where you can designate the country and region for the tax rate, the state that you're selling in, 
what's going to display on the checkout if you have a tax identification number and then you set the tax rate whether it's standard or a non-taxable item creating tax categories and select if you want to show that the price of the product already includes tax or not all right so you've added in all the product details the shipping methods the tax information let's see what it looks like on your site <laughs> so make sure you click on edit site in the top right corner and when you're in the site editor you're going to see what the product looks like maybe you want to change it up you can click on manage store or you can see it in the preview as well so you can start adding it to your cart so click on preview in the top right and it takes you through the whole shop function so you can click on the product you can click on the different option choices add to cart change up the quantity you can't check out in your preview so you're gonna have to publish to do that word of advice you're gonna want to walk yourself through the payment process so pull up your site put in the product into your cart and check out so you can really see what it looks like from a customer perspective And that's it, now you're e-commerce ready. I'm Darlene, thanks for stopping by.